Hey everyone, how's it going out there? My name is Scooter with Macintosh Tips. Today I'm going to show you three things to do on your Mac. The first thing is going to be a keyboard shortcut. It's kind of a shortcut to help you guys move around on your Mac a little bit faster. The next thing I'm going to show you is a new Twitter client out there that I'd like to bring to your attention. Just kind of let you guys know about it just in case uh, you haven't heard of it or you are in need of a Twitter client. Here's one for you. And then the third thing I'd like to show you guys is um, an application which helps you choose between your browsers. And it's called Choosy. And it does what just the just what the name says. It chooses your web browser for you uh, and let or helps you choose your web browser when you want to open a link. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the keyboard shortcut because I'm really anxious to show you guys. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm here uh, in Stickies and what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go ahead and switch out some text, okay? So I'm going to take this highlighted section that you see right there. I'm going to replace it with this highlighted section here. Okay, now how would I usually do this? Well, I'd copy this one come down here paste it then I have to find and search where the break is okay I'd copy and paste this right here copy that delete this one and paste it boom now we're done I've just replaced them right well let me go ahead and show you this keyboard shortcut and you can do that a whole lot faster just watch so I'm gonna highlight my first section my first section and I'm going to hit command C to copy when I come up here to the uh, next section here, I'm going to hit Control and K. That's to kill it. All right, so I'm just taking that off right now. Then I'm going to go ahead and paste. All right, I'm going to come back down here to my other section. I'm going to hit Control and Y, and boom, it's replaced in three easy steps. Copy or four e easy steps. Copy, c kill, Control K, paste, and yank it back in, Control Y. Those four commands, all right? And it's very simple, very easy. Uh, if you can't remember those, I have those commands in the sidebar to help you out, so you're all good to go. Let's go ahead and go over to the Twitter client now. Okay, so right now on my desktop, I have the two of the Twitter clients. I have Twit on my left and Twitter on uh, Tweety on my right. Again, they're both Twitter clients, so I can post uh, tweets to Twitter from here without going to the website. Uh, now, I usually use Tweety. Tweety's a beastly application. I like it a lot. It's nice. It's clean. It's beastly. Uh, but what it does is it helps, um, it helps very clean and organized with the at replies, direct messages, uh, the spotlight feature. I really like this. I just type in something like iPad. I can search it, and I can see all the tweets dealing with iPad. Very nice, very simple, very clean. Twit is also a very clean application. I like how I can, you know, um, drag it out, drag it in. Very simple. Uh, down here at the bottom, it's categorized into my at replies. If I click here, my at replies will show up. All right, and if I click here, my direct messages will show up. Now, one of the things I don't like about Twit is that in Tweety, my direct messages uh, show up as like conversations, right? Like in your iPhone, when you go back to your text messages, you have, you know, all of, all the people you've texted right there, uh, and that's what Tweety's kind of like. Twit, on the other hand, is not. It's all scattered out, kind of not really organized, in my opinion. And that's like the only downfall I have about Twit. Uh, everything else works really good. If I click this button, I can now start posting things to Twitter. Uh, so I just post, um, you know, hey, how's it going? Alright, I'm recording. Alright, now if I post this, I can't just hit enter because it's not going to go to Twitter. What I have to do is hit the function key, which is on the bottom left corner of your Mac. Uh, I Mac keyboard. I hit, I hold down the function key and hit enter, and then it will post to Twitter. Very simple, very easy, very cool. Uh, now, also, um, one more thing about tweet, uh, Twit that I really like is that, uh, for example, this Y frog. It's an image here. When I click it, it's going to pop up right in the application. So it's going to load the image without having to go to Safari and look at the image or anything like that. It's going to load it right here. So here's the image right there. And Tweety, Tweety does the same thing, but Twit does it also. And I do like that about both these applications. So overall, Twit's a very nice uh, application. You can check out the preferences more by yourself. They're very straightforward, very simple. But if you are in need of a Twitter client, Twit's the way to go, or Tweety, whichever one you like. So let's go ahead and quit those out, and now we'll talk about Choosy. Okay, so on my Mac I have uh, Safari, Google Chrome, Opera, 
Firefox, I have all those web browsers right now running, or not running, but on my computer. And I switch between them sometimes. You know, sometimes with Safari is acting slow, I'm going to use Google Chrome. Sometimes with Firefox acting really fast, I'm not going to use Opera. Things like that. And I want my, all my YouTube videos to open up in, you know, Google Chrome. Things of that nature. And so today, when you get links in your emails and things like that from now on, this application is going to help you choose which uh, web browser you want easily without it having to automatically open in Safari. Now if I go to my Safari preferences and I uh, go to my preferences here, you will see the default web browser, all right? It's going to automatically change to Choosy, all right? But uh, if you didn't have Choosy on, you might have it set to Safari. So that means every time I click a link, it's going to automatically open up in Safari. If you want all your links to open up in Firefox, then you change it to Firefox. But I'm going to have it Choosy and ha have it ask me. So let me go to go to my system preferences now and uh, walk you through this. So when I download the application, it's going to show up uh, here in my system preferences. I'm going to have to quit and reopen. All right. So under general, make sure that enable choosy links is on. I'm going to have uh, HTML files. Going to have that as well. Start choosy at login and display in the menu bar. So it's not going to show in the dock. It's going to be in the menu bar, and I basically just choose which uh, browser I want. Uh, and also one of the downsides about this application it is not free it's about thirteen dollars uh, so what I want you guys to do is download this application come back comment on this video tell me if I should uh, if you like it a lot and if you do like it I will work out and try to get four or five codes to send out to you guys and get four or five lucky winners and you guys can go ahead and uh, win and start using Choosy but if you don't the trial is for 45 days just letting you guys know that uh, if I go to browsers I get to add as many browsers and delete browsers behavior things like that Okay, so under behavior, I have it says prompt to select from all browsers. All right, so that being said, if I go back to my mail and I click this link, what will happen? Wow, here are all the browsers that I have on my Mac, and it's telling me which one do I want it to open in. So if I don't want it to open in Safari, boom, I just click Google Chrome. Google Chrome will automatically open, and the web page will launch in Google Chrome. How cool is that, right? Very simple, very easy, very cool. All right, uh, and I can you know do that with pretty much all links. That's what will happen. Okay. Now, as you notice, I have Safari running and I have Google Chrome running. So if I have it say select to running browser, uh, what will happen is if I go back and click this link, it will only have me select between Google Chrome and Safari. I can't select between Firefox because it's not running. See how I'm going with that? So this application has a lot of customization features as well. Um, let's go back into the preferences of Choosy, and I will go ahead and go to some other stuff. You have your appearance. Uh, so for example, if I click the link, I can have these display in a row uh, instead of a circle. As you see now, they're side by side, not um, in a circle like they were before. Another customization feature is how large you want the icon size to prompt you with. So for example, if I click the link again, it's going to come up a little bit bigger, all right? And if I don't want it that big, I can have it uh, sized down as well. Now, the last thing I want to talk about with Choosy is that uh, the people who created Choosy were very, very smart. What they did was they worked out to where you could have a, um, you could have a bookmark located in your browser, okay? A bookmark located in your browser uh, so that every, so you can open up a different uh, web page in a different browser. Let me just show you what that means. So I'm on this web page. I'm in Safari, right? But I want to go ahead and move it over to Google Chrome, for example. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hit this bookmark. It says Choosy All. All right. And basically, what I did, I just dra dragged from here up to here. Very simple, very uh, easy. All right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit Choose. All right. And the pop up menu is going to pop up again. And from here, I get to select Google Chrome. And now that same web page is going to open up in Google Chrome. So those have been the three things I want to show you guys today to get on your Mac. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, uh, th these tips and tricks. Uh, I have more to come uh, very soon, obviously. Check out the new vlog channel, Vlogging Like Vloggers. If you haven't voted for EB, go ahead and vote for him right now. Uh, link will be in the description box. And all the links to download those applications will be in the description box as well. My name is Scooter Taylor. I hope I've helped you with your Mac. Comment and rate. Tell me how I did today. Thanks, guys. Peace out.